today I wanted to go over an image that I actually processed about a year or so ago. The reason why I want to do it is, is because Lightroom and Photoshop has come on in this last 12 months that this process should be a lot easier now. It's quite a difficult process to do, but like I say, Lightroom and Photoshop have made it so, so much easier. The image is of pin mill, and what we're going to do is we're going to make it into a fine art and we're going to garrig off it. So I picked this image from pin mill. It's quite a simple one, really. One of the reasons why I think it's going to be quite simple is we can get rid of these, the background quite easy here, and I'll probably composed it for that reason. The difficult part, I think, will probably be the actual center of the image there. The mast is up in the sky, so that's quite good. We don't have to do any dodgy selecting and things around there. And this area here, if we go right in to this area here, then it's easy to select there because there's no highlights coming through, so that's quite easy. This area could be quite difficult, and then we've got all this area to remove. The boats are nice and sharp. It should be quite an easy one to process. I'm just going to do it a quick couple of adjustments before we get stuck into it properly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up the shadows a little bit and I'm going to drop down the highlights a bit. Now in this image I am definitely going to try and keep this obviously it's a long exposure it was it's an eight second exposure so it's got a little bit of movement in the cloud and a little bit of movement in the water and I'm not going to do a lot more than that. I'm going to just de-aze it just slightly. I'm just going to drop the clarity just slightly, but I'm going to up the texture. So what we'll do then is just send it straight into Photoshop and start removing all this distraction and make it into a fine art Galligoff style image. So if we right click, edit in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually duplicate the layer. So I'm just going to drag it down to the box there. Got two layers and that's always my backup layer and I'll switch that off for now. So I'm going to start removing things and I'm, because of these new tools we've got, I'm going to try different methods. But I think the first ones I've got to try really is, let's get a bigger screen, is the gen generative fill. So I want to get... <clears throat> rid of this um the boat and the the because it because it's shot on an estuary um we're actually looking over to the other side of the estuary so i want to get rid of all of that land in the background there so what i'm going to do is actually just click the lasso tool and i'm just going to lasso around it and just see what it does because i don't know what it's going to do but i'm just going to go just over the edge of the boat there and i'm going to grab that and I'm going to just click generative fill. And let's just see what it generates first. Okay, so it's starting, it's generating different land. So that's no good. So let's try remove land. So it's not actually removing land as such, but it would get, it's actually easier to blend the land that it's chosen so I might actually keep that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go just we'll just switch off that layer the generated layer and I'm going to go back to this copy and I'm going to select sky it's selected the sky I'm going to trust that it's done a fantastic job and I'm going to just make a copy of that new layer and paste and paste so I've got a copy of the sky and it's brought some of this um, master the boat in and things like that. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use the I'm going to use the remove tool and remove the mast and see what it actually does. So it's done a pretty good job. So I'm going to use that again. I'm going to just remove some of the bits that I don't want across there and I'm going to make a sky layer and that sky layer is just to use to blend the sky and the 
the water together. Okay, so I'm getting to that stage. What I'm going to do now is just take the lasso tool. I'm going to just take that like that over there. And I'm going to select generative. Um, I'm going to select content aware fill. And I want it to use all of the sky. So if I what areas are in green is what it's going to try and use to replace and I want it to use as much of that sky as possible so that's giving me an idea what it's going to be like so I quite like that that's better okay so we're getting a nice sky now I suppose we could do that again and why not so if we Lasso tool again. We're going to select all the bottom. I'm going to make a pretty much perfect sky layer. And we're going to right click, select content aware fill. Okay, so we'll just deselect, deselect. Now I've got a horrible green bit here that I don't like. So I'll tell you what we'll do then. We'll I'm going to merge all the sky layers down and flatten cancel merge visible that's one sky layer now just one sky layer and i'm just going to give that one more go because it should now we've merged it it should do a better job right click again and content aware fill now all we're doing is actually letting ai do its thing we want to select more of the sky so it's got more options of filling it in especially this bottom area because that's quite nice and it's a reflection I'll tell you what let's select all of it give it its best shot okay that's looking quite nice so we'll click ok and apply that we'll just merge the visible again deselect and we've got a sky layer there now so we just go back to this image and this image we, what we've actually got is a sky layer underneath the boat so what I'm actually going to do next is from the main image is select subject well copy and paste that copy that new layer paste And now we've got a, a subject layer as well. And the main thing for me is having this mast area, which is quite difficult to chop and do. So that's pretty good. Okay, so all we need to do then is start blending things in. So you can already see, just blending the two layers that we've cropped, that things are working quite well. We just need to get rid of this area here. So we've selected that area and we're just going to delete. So we've deleted that bit. So we've deleted a fair, fair bit of that. And we're starting to get something where we want. Obviously, we've still got to use the shadowed areas. So what I'm actually going to do is we'll just go back to that one. And I'm just going to, the same selection, I'm going to do a generative fill there and what I'm actually trying to use to do is use a generative fill to make it a more fine art shot now that's that for me is done a lot better job because now if I just click off that merge them two layers merge visible when I come to remove these now this should remove a lot lot easier and obviously it's trial and error because we don't know what the actual generative fill is going to give us but all we're trying to do is make it less and less complex we're going to just get rid of those bits like so now one important thing is when we're working with water is we've removed the boat which is fantastic but we've still got its reflection here so make sure 
but remove reflections. Now that's <laughs> it's already done a blend mode that's fantastic. What I'm going to actually try and do is use that to get rid of the horizon there. Okay, <laughs> and while we've on it, I'm going to see what it does. We're removing that area. So it's removed it pretty well. What I'll have to do is use that part of the boat, because I've cropped it, to infill these back in, them little areas there. So there's one or two methods there that we've tried, and with trial and error, they've worked quite well. They've worked really well, and I haven't even blended anything yet. All I've done is remove things, and save and crop the sky, and save and crop the foreground. But now we just need to start blending things in a little bit. So if we just switch that on and off, we can just see them little differences where it's taken the boat away. And it looks like we've got a little bit of work here to do. Um, removing a little bit on this corner. The middle bit, again, we might have a little bit of work to do there. Um, but we'll see. So what I'm going to do is just try and blend that sky in a little bit more. So I'm going to add the sky. Add a layer mask. We'll grab a brush and we're going to start bringing that foreground back in. To bring that texture back there like so. Just to make it blend a little bit better. Now as I'm coming towards the the horizon line now, what I'm going to do is actually drop the opacity down on the brush and we're just going to make that blend so much better, so much more natural. Just so it blends in so much easier. It looks more foggy than anything else. Now I know, I know I've got some detail to work with here. I know there's a little bit of issue there. We'll just we'll deal with that when we come to it. We'll put that bit of boat back in there. Like so. A little bit of boat there that's missing. So we've cropped that and that bit. I'm just going to up the opacity right back up to 100. We're going to zoom into this area that's a little bit dodgy there. That's we've got a little bit of bit missing. So I'm going to actually paint it back in what I want, and then we'll we'll cut out what we don't want there, like so. So that this this mass line, I'm not keen on that. So I will remove that in a moment. But I'm just trying to get things a little bit finer. So that's that's the image done in Photoshop now. I'm now just going to finish the process off in Lightroom. So I'll just show you a before and after from Photoshop to Lightroom. That's the original image. That's the Photoshop version. So all we want to do now is try and just put our little spit on it. So um, I'm actually going to get a radial filter and I'm going to incorporate a little bit of let's say fog so I'll select the radial, radial filter I'm going to come right over the horizon like so but then I'm going to subtract subject so now it's subtracted the subject what I'm going to do is just drop the DA's slightly like so and we'll just have a look what that's done so it's just made everything blend in just a little bit better 
So what I'm actually going to do now is actually grab another radial filter and I'm just going to drop it on this side. Subtract subject again. And then I'm just going to drop the DAs on that there so it blends in just better. And then I think I'm just going to probably do the same on the other side. So another radial filter like so. Now it's not it in the boat there, so I should be able to just drop the DAs just slightly there. There we go. That's quite nice. Now, as far as the image goes, it's a little bit too vibrant to be a bit too saturated. So I do like to just drop that saturation down a bit and I think it gives it a more real moody effect. I don't know whether you guys agree with that, but I just think dropping down that just makes it a lot better. I'm going to drop the DA slightly and the clarity slightly. Like so. Blacks. I don't really want to move the blacks too much, but I certainly don't want them black, black. Um, No, I don't want to lose that black. If anything, I want to shove it up a little bit, make it a little bit brighter in the middle there, in them shadows. So what I'll do is actually just pump up the shadows a little bit. Then I'll probably drop down the black slides, so that's better. That's getting better. Highlights, I don't want to pump the highlights up too much. And if anything, I want to drop them down because I want to bring more of that sky out. Um, which is quite nice which then i'm going to bring up the shadows a little bit more because i want to see a bit of detail in that sky to be honest so we'll drop the blacks down again like so i'm just going to come out and have a little look what i'm actually going to do is just apply a bit of a vignette and i'm going to do that with a radial filter just put that radial filter over the image invert and just drop the exposure down. Now I want it more in the top half, so I'm just gonna bring that down a bit there and just see how far I can take that. Like so. I think what I'm gonna do with that is actually another radial filter and just put it over the boat so and just bring that exposure up a little bit, like so. And there we go, like that. Now, do we do any colour grading? We might just do some slight adjustments here. Blues, I'm going to drop down the blues there in luminosity and in saturation, I think, just to make it a little bit more like so. Um, I want to not have so much saturation in this this bottom area here so I'm actually going to get a, um, a linear filter just bring it up from the bottom there and I'm just going to drop this sa complete saturation down on that filter there I'm going to find it there we go I don't want so much colour in that reflected water like so we'll just go back to the colour grading I'm going to just, I want to make that, that red stand out a little bit of that foreground boat. So if you can see, it just really makes it strong. Yellows, I think I'm going to drop down the yellows. Drop down that yellow colour there. So somewhere, somewhere there. I think that's really moody luminosity of the yellows and the oranges I'm actually going to bring up a little bit gives it more contrast in the boat area now again some prefer a black and white that's my image I think I'm just going to bring up the whites a little bit there we go I like that that's a lovely shot where I can see, I can see we've got a couple of issues that I've missed. Um, I can see them from here, is where the mast is and the 
background there so we're going to have to deal with that there's these let me just show you there's a couple areas here that that's just not right there little bits of area there so what I'm actually going to do we'll just drop it back into Photoshop and we'll correct them little errors so we've just gone into Photoshop corrected some of the imperfections we're just sending it back into Lightroom now um, and there's just one or two little other imperfections I want to sort out just in Lightroom um, for example there's a there's a darker bit of sky there which I don't like so what I'm actually going to do is just select a brush I'm going to up the exposure just slightly I'm going to paint over this area here just to bring it back in line and I also want to bring that area up just slightly to just match the surrounding area the only thing I would work on then is do I want it in black and white and edit it for a black and white so black and white want a little bit more contrast I'll bring out them shadows a little bit though chop down the blacks and I want to bring out more of the boat so I will actually just do a radial filter and bring out the shadows in the radial filter there and I will also up the texture a little bit like so and that's my version of the my black and white version I shall save that okay so the process actually it, it took about the same amount of time but using new techniques we need to know how they work and things like that so we need to work with them a bit better but i think the end product is probably a better result um, and if it were done a few times i'd maybe do some things a little bit differently um, to work with it a little bit better but on the whole i think it worked extremely well <laughs> you get out there and try and create an image like this thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed it i'll see you soon